Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in this quick video I'm going to show you how you can create this step bar animation so when I hover over with my mouse you can see a nice drop shadow showing and when I click right here all of these icons will sort of explode and show on each side as well as this is going to change from plus to close as well as the background color and you can see also that these other icons have dropped in opacity to put this more in focus. When I click right here, it's going to close and go back to its original position. So once again, when I hover, you can see this nice hover effect. And then when I click, they will sort of bounce into place. And then when I click to close, they will go right back. So let's get started. Before I get started, you can download this practice file, link is in the description below, simply click and go to download if you want to follow along, if not, you can recreate your own, of course. All of these icons are big icons and I will also leave the link down uh, in the description. If you want to get them, you can get them via that link. Now to get started, I have all of these components already pre-made for you guys. So simply click on any of these and drag and drop them inside. This is a tab BG. I'm going to position it in the center. Now this is our document icon. I'll position it right here in the center, just above our tab bar. I'll hold my shift key to make sure it's in the center or you can click these two and then I will jump ahead and simply order some of these. So we have profile, I will drag and drop it inside. We also have settings, I'll place it right here. We have our wallet icon, I'll place it right here and finally chat icon right here. You can select all of them, click right here to align them and then simply while all of them are selected you can hold your shift key and simply nudge them in the middle like so or you can simply click right here if you want to position all of them in the center if you want to make sure everything is in the center then simply hold your shift key select everything click right here and then all of them will be positioned now as for the distribution i think for this example something like a 47 will look quite well so you can hold the shift key one two three four five six perhaps let's see 60 let's go even more let's go somewhere around here 98 so let's see this is somewhere around here so 98.5 and let's do the same for these two something like this and this is quite handy in adobe xd because it shows you uh, where all of those um, distances are Something isn't quite right with my mouse, so bear with me for a second. Here it is. So now that you ordered everything, it's time to create a component from this one. So how can you do that? Simply hit Control or Command K and your component will be created. But inside of that, let me quickly show you what's inside. So obviously we have add or close button. We have new document icon, which is basically this outline, same as these other uh, icons. We have document color, which if I minimize this, you can see how it looks like, basically just a background color. We have zip icon, PDF icon, and doc icon. Those are the icons which are going to go right here on the top. And you can see the opacity on those is at zero. So what I'm going to do is now that I have my document icon, I will need to play around with different states. So this is our default state. I'm going to add new state and let's start with the hover state. I'm going to simply call it hover like so. And what I'm going to do for the hover is actually quite simple. I'm going to go right here. Just make sure that the hover is selected right here. So click uh, on your component itself. Make sure that the hover is selected and then go to document color. And inside, I will go to my shadow, select this as my background color and simply go something like five, five and maybe ten. Nothing too dramatic. Then jump right here. And here is the opacity. Simply lower it down. Let's give it opacity of something like, um, I don't know, 30 percent, something like that. If you think that this is too strong, maybe you can increase this to 20 or you can even reduce it to five. It really, however, you want to deal with this. Let's leave it like so. And this basically is our hover state. Now what I need to go is click right here, go back to my default state, click new to create a new state. I'm going to click a state called clicked. 
So I'm going to create that one now. Now for the clicked, what I want to do is basically turn this into X. So simply hold your shift key, rotate it, or you can simply rotate it right here. You can type in 45 or 90 degrees or however you want. Now for the new document icon, I just want to basically select this as my color, as you can see. And for the document color itself, I just want to make sure that I select some nicer gray color. You can even leave it like this if you want, but I'm just going to select some color like this, for example. Now what I need to do next is select all of these, increase the opacity to 100, hold my shift key and nudge them up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is perhaps since they are aligned right here, maybe I can position them to be at 30. So shift one to three, for example, let's see how that looks like. That looks good because I still want them to be in the area of the tab bar BG. So zip icon, I will move it to the left doc icon i'll move it to the right and pdf is going to stay in the middle so what i'm going to do for the pdf is simply hold my shift key position it right here my zip icon i'm going to line it with my original document icon hold shift one two three to position it 30 in this way and do the same for my doc icon so shift one two three this way that's basically it for our preparations and this is how our document looks like now what i'm going to do before i start prototyping is click on my default state jump to my tab bar hit ctrl d so i can duplicate my artboard what i'm going to do right here is jump into all of these other icons so basically document profile wallet and chat and lower the opacity down so instead of my document sorry so these four and then lower the opacity down and you can do it however you want let's leave it at 25 for example i think that works well now what i'm going to do in this one is go to my click state and because i'm going to animate between these two because it's quite tricky to animate opacity on the icons which are not clicked especially in xd which doesn't have that feature that's why i need to use two r ports you can do it in states like we did with this document icon but once again you cannot do them for one single state so what you can do is put them all inside a single icon but then you're going to be confused later on when you start animating all of these other icons because perhaps on click let's say or on hover you want to add a background color or something like that then it becomes extremely complicated to do all of this in one single component so that's why i said simply create two artboards it's much faster much easier for you and for clients to understand so now let's get back to our prototype to get started with our prototype this is what i want to do so basically we have our clicked state, we have our hover state, so I just want to animate between these two. You can see in this one is closed, in this one is open. So what I'm going to do is simply go to prototype and click right here and simply click on my plus and drag it because we still have those interactions. So we have hover and we have clicked state, but what I want to do is animate between my artboards. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use tap for the transition, let's use auto animate tab bar. Let's give it something like, maybe we can go with, instead of ease in out, maybe we can use snap and we can use 0.6, let's say, because we really want them to snap in this particular position. And to go back, users need to click right here on this close icon. So we are going to have the same interaction. So we are going to have tap, auto, animate, tab bar. But instead of snap, let's go with ease in out because I really want them to ease back into place. And let's leave it at 0 0.6. So let's click right here, then right here to preview. And that's why I created this artboard at 1080 by 1080. So all of you guys can see whether you're watching on a desktop, phone or tablet really nicely. So I don't have to create really small dimensions, but usually you are going to create a smaller dimensions for phones, especially. So how all of this looks like is when I hover right here, you can see that we have our hover effect. And then finally, when I click right here, as you can see, they are nicely snapping into position and this goes from plus to close. You can see it changes color of the icon itself and all of these other icons are changing the opacity down to 25%. So once again, when I click right here, it's going to go back and everything is going to go back into its original position. Once again, this file will be available for a download. 
check the description of this YouTube video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like videos like these or long form tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you in other videos because I create videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.